Hello everyone, it's Althea from methmg.com and today we're making coconut solara which is made with a rich bread-like dough rolled and stuffed with a sweet coconut filling. Let's get started with the coconut filling. Add 4 cups of grated coconuts, 1 cup of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of ground cloves, 1 teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract to a large non-stick pot on medium heat. Mix together well until all the ingredients are fully combined, then add 2 teaspoons of red food coloring. For this recipe, I prefer to use a gel food coloring. However, if you're using a liquid food coloring, you may need to add up to a tablespoon to get the rich bright red color that we're going for. But be careful, too much food coloring can make your filling taste really bitter. Continue to mix together until all of the grated coconut is completely covered with the bright red food coloring. Then continue to cook the coconut mixture for about 5 minutes so that all of the flavors of the spices and the sugar can come together to form a really delicious filling. Next, let's make a sugar sling by combining 1 cup of water and half a cup of sugar in a small pot on high heat. Stir until the sugar dissolves, then bring to a boil. Boil until the liquid reduces to about half, then set aside and let cool. And now for the Solara dough. To a large mixing bowl, add 3 cups of flour, 1 tablespoon of instant or rapid rising yeast, half a teaspoon of salt, and mix together well. Next, using a fork or your fingers, rub a quarter cup of coconut oil or any other fat you like, butter, margarine, or even vegan butter, into the flour. Once the fat has been fully combined with the dry ingredients, make a well in the center of the dry ingredients in preparation for your wet ingredients. Then, add half a cup of coconut milk mixed with one cup of warm water to the center of the well. And using a whisk, combine the liquid and some of the dry ingredients to make a smooth batter. Then fold in the remaining flour with your hands to form a sticky dough. Next, add half a cup of flour and knead until all the flour is combined to form a smooth ball. This should take no more than 10 minutes. And if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I post recipes every day and lots of tips in my stories. And check out my Facebook page where you can share photos of things that you've been cooking. I love hearing from all of you. Once the dough has been kneaded into a smooth ball, place the dough in a greased bowl and cover with a kitchen towel or a damp paper towel and let rise until the dough doubles in size. This should take about 45 minutes to an hour. Once the dough doubles in size, turn the dough onto a floured surface and knead for about 5 minutes, then cut the dough into two equal pieces. Then give each piece of dough just a light knead to smooth the edges out. Then on a flour surface, roll each piece of dough out until it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Try to roll the dough into a square if you can. And remember to keep the surface floured as you roll the dough out so that it's easy to roll the dough into a log after adding the filling. Once you've rolled out the dough to the desired thickness, brush the edges with some room temperature water. This will help to seal the ends during baking. Next, cover the rolled out dough with half of the red coconut filling, leaving about an inch of space around the edges.
Then roll the dough into a tight log. Tucking in the edges at the end. Place the log onto a greased baking sheet edge side down and gently press the top. Then brush the solara with a beaten egg yolk. To make this recipe truly vegan, skip this step and just brush the dough with a little bit of water. The egg yolk helps to give the dough an even golden brown color, but it's not necessary. Bake your solara at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, remove from the oven and immediately brush with the sugar sling we made earlier. Then let your solara cool before serving. Because I used frozen grated coconuts for this recipe, it was wetter than fresh coconuts and some of the liquids oozed out of the bottom of the solara, but it was still perfect. Alright, let's talk about this solara. It is rich with coconut. You can see the dough is fully cooked. It has a thin top layer and it's really soft. And it has the right amount of sweetness. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Also, tell me in the comments if you are team lots of coconut in your solara like me, or if you like a balance between the dough and the coconut like my husband. Once again, thanks for watching and happy baking.